then that has a database that blocks hundreds of thousands of keywords and different combinations. So that's another form of censorship. See, it's a huge cocktail. Hundreds of different systems they're using. ISPs confirmed 2012, the year the Internet ends. Bell Canada and Tell US with Verizon employees officially confirmed that 2012's ISP all over the globe will reduce Internet access uh, and a TV-like subscription model only offering access to a small standard amount of commercial sites, a few hundred. You understand this is not a rumor, this is not a joke, this is not a game, this is happening now. you got to tell everybody, this is not a conspiracy theory. Internet 2 said in 2001, they are going to take the Internet as you know it away and rape the hell out of you financially. We'll be right back with another guest on a different subject than later before the show ends. Jason Burmes is going to be in here with me in studio as we analyze this further. Okay, let me get back now into Internet 2. Let me, let me just calmly go over the facts here. Up on screen, recapping, up on screen, secret plan to kill Internet by 2012 leaked. Some question of report that pay-per-view system to be introduced is a hoax, but wider march to regulate the web is documented. And the reason we're covering this in the last few weeks, tens of millions of views on different versions of the same video, uh, with this young lady and others talking about inside sources that told them inside industry that there was a plan by 2012 to go to pay-per-view Internet. Now, I'm not criticizing this group. I'm glad that the info babe and others got this attention because now people are asking us hundreds of times a day if this is true. Yes, it's true. Let me take you to an article written by Paul Watson. Uh, this story was written March 16th, 2006. So that's two years and three months ago. And if you read this headline, MySpace is the Trojan horse of Internet censorship, media elite's last gap effort uh, to save crumbling empire. And then in the article, there are links to mainstream news articles where the Internet 2, ICANN, the United Nations, the federal government, the UK Inquirer, and others admitted that under Internet 2, 50 corporations, 50 universities, and the government of the United States and other governments working together are going to do several things. Now here they are that they're doing in tandem together. Taxes on the Internet, an Internet tax that you have to pay to the federal government. Just a blanket tax to get on the web yearly that then registers you. You've got to enter a registration number in. Microsoft, for at least seven years, has been trying to implement thumbprinting biometrically for your, quote, security and all new keyboards. That They're having trouble implementing that. That's good news. Uh, they also plan to make you basically pay taxes and an Internet stamp on top of it on a cap on emails. Okay, and they've been demonizing emails and pushing that agenda. But the big one you hear is net neutrality that big Internet service providers, but more importantly, the backbones, like Cogent and Level 3 and, and others, and, and, the, and the main backbones put in by Cisco, and uh, the system built by DARPA and the federal government back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, that, that they are going to stop communicating with each other unless they have peer-to-peer -peer agreements and unless you buy subscriptions, and then you'll have limited areas that you can go to and literally 99 plus percent, that's in their own words, of the, of the old web will be walled off. But that isn't enough for them. They are going to take the government laid down systems tied in with the telecoms and the big telecommunications hubs and simply not update the old internet hubs and let them fail, forcing you onto internet too. Now, remember, there is a story up on prisonplanet.com right now that Paul Watson wrote on June 11th, 2008, titled, Secret Plan to Kill the Internet by 2012 Leaked. And then this is a 20-page article. Now, if you care anything about the web, you better read this article Paul Watson wrote. Every paragraph is hyperlinks to government documents, industry insiders, mainstream media reports, where they admit all this. So, we can't even get the general public who has been trained to be in denial and deny what's happening to admit that they're trying to get rid of net neutrality, which will destroy the web in and of itself. We can't even get the public to admit that they're trying to tax the web when states are already doing it, other governments are already doing it, governments are pushing ISPs to put filtering in like China has, uh, uh, universities, corporations already block out, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Another facet of Internet Tube is that once you're forced over to it, it'll be like MySpace, YouTube, where you'll have your own channel. 
And they say this in Internet, too, this big consortium of them meeting and deciding how to build it and set it up. I learned about it six years ago, but they've been meeting for 10 years plus, actually 12. They say that you'll sign a contract with them. They'll own your intellectual property, just like YouTube. Everybody else says we have a subpage. They own it. Whatever you post, they say they have rights to it. You will have no free speech. They will own your material. They can shut you down, suspend you at will, and they say, oh, well, it's private. It's like you can't protest in a mall. They say it's private property. They control what you say. They control what you do. So the new web will be a hundred domains. This is what they said in 2001. They're debating this now. And that you will have a subsite on 100 domains. There will be institutional and there will be private. But it will all be regulated by the government, controlled by the corporations and 50 universities slash institutions. This is the new web. Why are they doing this? Newspaper circulation down the last 15 years by 60 plus percent. It's about 65 now. TV ratings even on cable down. First cable killed TV. Broadcast TV now. Cable's being killed by this. They cannot compete. When I have millions of people a week listening to millions listening to the podcast, and I'm able to sell advertising and raise the $20,000 a month it takes for our bandwidth, and it's growing, Understand, they also claim, and they're doing it in Texas and all over, Comcast, Time Warner, they're all announcing, you pay for your internet connection. You pay 30, 40, 50, 100 bucks. You're paying for the bandwidth that they cost to get it streamed. I then pay on my end for the server so you can get it. They're making huge profits. Telecommunications, especially in the internet, is one of the highest profit ratios left in our society when everything else, the service economy, the construction economy, the manufacturing economy is imploding. They're now coming in with regulations, taxes, controls, and they're talking about, for tiny amounts of bandwidth, charging you masses of money for this. So there's a multi-pronged attack we have a bunch of detailed articles where they say it themselves. So basically, it's Internet users and, and companies and people that have stores online. It's all over. 50 co companies and 50 uh, universities and government institutions in tandem, that's the government angles of the universities, they will decide what you can have on the web. They will decide where you can go. I mean, we're talking about, they say, for 200 channels, 200 websites, which will be Time Warner and, 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 and Google and the rest of it, you will be paying $40 plus a month. And that's it. You will not get to Infowars.com. You will not get to PrisonPlanet.com. You will not get to any of these websites. And I'm begging you, the listeners, to not believe me to go to PrisonPlanet.com and all of you out there later watching this on the web and to read through the last five years, six years, we've been warning you about this, the last two and a half intensely. The San Francisco Chronicle tech writers didn't believe us, and they wrote a big story covering our article two years ago, our Trojan Horse article. And that's one of the only mainstream places that has put this out. So I do want to toot our horn and say that regardless of what your political views are, regardless of what you think of us out there in cyberspace, love us or hate us, we have been on the front lines of studying this and researching it. Hours reading uh, the Internet 2 meetings in Austin and in London and in Chicago and in New York and in Tokyo, where they laugh and they always announce at the beginning uh, of their three-day conferences, the Internet is dead. And it's just like you paid for roads, and then they just come in and have the government hand it over to them. And then now it's new rules on their roads. Uh, I want to bring Jason Burmus in here, and uh, Jason is a huge tech guy, a lot more technical than I am. Uh, of course, Loose Change fame, making a new film here with us, working with us the next few months in the office, been filling in some on the show. We've got about three or four minutes before break, Jason, but I want you for listeners out there to explain to them that it's not just net neutrality, it's not just taxation, it's not just bandwidth caps, uh, it is not building, not maintaining the old hub, forcing you on. That's their number one goal, and that's the part nobody's talking about. This isn't just net neutrality where the different groups don't communicate with each other anymore, and you buy subscriptions for fractions of the web, and it kills that incredible you know, connectivity and that huge community. The key to all of this is they are going to shut down the old web. Jason Burmus. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was shocked when I read that they're actually beta testing this right now, not only in America, but in Texas, in Beaumont, Texas. And how it works, folks, is this. They're not only going to limit the amount that you can download, but they're also going to limit the speed at which you can download it. So for five gigabytes a month, they want to charge you $30, and it's at, it's at a, a reduced rate. It's like a DSL line.